Welcome my sweet friends. My name is Emmy and this is the channel Frugal Money Saver. Actually, this is going to be two grocery hauls, but within a matter of a week. What happened is ShopRite only had super special sales that went on sale from Wednesday because of Memorial Day to Saturday. So what we did was we did some shopping, then we went back for the specials that started on Wednesday. So you're gonna see the first haul and then you're going to see the second haul. Why are these hauls so expensive? The reason being is meat prices and stock up items were super cheap. And we need to get stocking up our freezer and our pantry again. What had happened is, I showed you the last time we did an inventory of the freezer, we were really down on meats. So we need to start building it up because we've been really good about eating out of our refrigerator, our pantry, and our freezer, but now when these items go on sale, we have to restock. And that's exactly what we did. Another side note is, we're having a 4th of July little gathering here at the home. So if I saw things that I could use for the party, I bought them. Remember I told you on Friday's video when I did the 20 money saving tips for warm weather? And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. If there are items that you can use for an upcoming little barbecue or gathering and they go on sale and you can freeze them or they're shelf stable, buy them when they're on sale. This way, the week of the party, you're not running out the day before paying full price for everything. So that's why you're going to see two different hauls. Oh, by the way, you're getting to see me in full summer hair again. Those of you who've been around a while know that as soon as like May hits, my hair has its own personality and its own way of doing things. And I just kind of go with it because it's like poof. So forgive me for looking like this, but we just got in and I wanted to make sure you guys got to see all this. First thing I'm gonna show you is the bigger haul we did first. That's with just great stock up prices before the Wednesday to Saturday items went on sale. So I'm gonna show you that first. First item we got was the Scott toilet tissue. 20 rolls was on special for $10.99. So that is a stock up item. We will put this away. What an amazing price. We haven't had to buy toilet tissue in a while. The last time playing close to $17 for 20 rolls. Then Garnet Fructis. You know that I don't use shampoo on my hair. I only use conditioner to wash my hair and conditioner. And this stuff is great. I use the Curl Nourish. So we got two of the Curl Nourish. Oh, and I did get a shampoo for Paul, but he has to use the curly one. And then I got this for my son. It was co coconut water and aloe vera. And then I also got coconut oil conditioner for myself. Now, these were $2.50 a piece. The whole blends and the fruit teas. And I had a $3 off, two of the whole blends, and I got $4 off if I bought the Garnet Fructis. So all together, these four cost me $3. So that was an amazing price. Remember last grocery haul, I told you that we hadn't bought all in a while because it wasn't on sale. Guess what? $1.99 for my all. Well, you can bet we bought four to stock up on because it had been a while since I saw that price. They were $2.99 with the digital coupon. It came to $1.99. The red peppers were 99 cents a pound with the digital coupon. Five pound bags of red potatoes, 99 cents. So for this time of year, 99 cents, I am super stoked. Got two bags, put them away. Now I know some of you may be gasping, it's okay. I bought a three pound bag of onions, but let me explain, 99 cents for the three pounds, but these will be cut and put away in my freezer. We have a 4th of July picnic at our house every year. And one of the items that we serve is Italian sausage and pepper wedges with onions. I will cut these up and I will freeze them 
in big slices and then come 4th of July, I'm gonna have three pounds of onions that we can fry up with that sausage for 99 cents. So that was a great deal. Tomatoes on the vine were 99 cents. So we got a couple tomatoes because I wanna make that olive and tomato and mozzarella sauce that I showed you in Friday's video. And guys, if you have not tried that, I'm gonna link the video down below. You need to try this pasta sauce, it's amazing. I got two bananas. I got two containers of Faye sour cream. Did you like how I said that so quickly? And without hesitation, Faye. And they were 99 cents a piece, so that's a great stock up item. Remember to always store them upside down. Somehow it just keeps them fresher. I got my Swiss cheese. I got one avocado, was 99 cents. The blueberries, now this is a super sale for blueberries, if you can believe this. $1.88. To me, that sounds like it's very expensive, but $1.88, it's fine. Fresh blueberries are awesome. Coming back over here, I got Ken's. You know we really like Ken's, but I only buy them when they are on super sale. And these were $1.49, and I had a paper coupon off a dollar off of this one dollar off of this one so they were 49 cents this is a new one that we have never tried balsamic with honey dressing that sounded really good so we got two of those we were out of pure maple syrup and you know that's pretty much all we use is the pure maple syrup i had never seen this brand before but it was organic and it was 6.99 for this jar now, I know you're probably thinking that is a tremendous amount of money to spend on maple syrup, but if you've ever tasted real maple syrup, and we do not use a lot of it, this will last us a very long time. It is well worth it. My Friendship No Salt Sour Cream was on sale for $1.99. My Victoria's were on sale $3.99. I had a dollar off of this one paper coupon and a dollar off of this one, so they came to $2.99. Those will go in the pantry. So this is a lot of stock up items, as you see. Our whole chickens, the Purdue, were on sale for $1.13 a pound. Figured for this price, I grabbed two and they will go right in the freezer. One of the most economical cuts of meat. You're getting the breasts, you're getting the wings, you're getting everything. I also got two packages of the Black Bear Bratwurst. Again, these will go into the freezer for my 4th of July picnic. What I love about these is they have no MSG in them, and that's sometimes hard to find for bratwursts. So two packages of those are butter bread, this Arnold's butter bread. It's delicious. It's usually like four something a loaf. It was half price. We paid $2 for each of those. They will go in the freezer. Our Jimmy Dean bacon was back on sale, $2.99 a package. So we got four packages and that will go right into the freezer. This ice cream, can you hear Dixie? Dixie, Dixie, what are you doing in your bed? Tell mommy. Can you see her face? Look at those teeth. <laughs> Dixie, mommy could get you. Mommy's gonna get that baby. Mommy's gonna get that baby. I got that baby. <laughs> this ice, sorry for the little Dixie break. Okay, we're back. This ice cream, Hudsonville, Traverse City, Cherry Fudge. Okay, I'm just gonna read you what kind of ice cream this is. It is sweet chunks of cherries and thick fudge ripple. I don't have my glasses on. In a creamy amaretto ice cream. Okay, now I'd be willing to pay $2.50 for this just because of what kind of flavor it is. How about it was completely free? This Hudsonville is new to our shop right. There was a $2.50 off this half gallon and its price was $2.50. So this was completely free. So super stoked about trying that one. Our Maxwell house was $1.49 this week. So we got four for the pantry. We ran out of hamburger buns. We always, always keep them in the freezer. And when we make hamburgers, we just pull two out. These were a dollar and we were 
Pretty happy about that too. And then Paul got his bowl and basket tortilla chips for $1.50. So this is a pretty good haul. This is again, a stock up haul because these prices were super low. We're seeing prices go up and we're keeping an eye on things. So these prices were low enough that we felt we needed to stock up on a lot of these items. So here we go. It's the, first, it's the week that I cook for my mother-in-law and father-in-law and I am making them chicken tacos. So I had everything in the house. We have tomatoes we bought, and we have lettuce, and the chicken breast. I did need taco shells. Kraft went on sale for $1.99 a package, which was great. And then I always include a little dessert, and I usually bake something, but these were on sale for $1.99, and I know they will love this. Snickers ice cream, they're gonna have six bars. So that means that's three servings of a dessert for them for $1.99. They love anything with peanut butter, so that's fun. Corn was 20 cents an ear, I bought 12. Next week, I'm gonna be doing a video on food prep, and you're going to see how I'm going to take the red peppers that you saw in the first haul, and those onions, and the corn, and a whole bunch of meat, how we put it away, and how we preserve it to use it in the future. Because at these prices, I'm not gonna eat 12 years of corn, but for 20 cents for fresh corn, for me, it's worth it to freeze some of it. Royal pudding was Five for two dollars for instant pudding. We're not huge pudding eaters, but I'll tell you what I will use this for to put in cakes and brownies and when I bake because at that price it's just a flavor booster. The 80% ground beef was $2.49 a pound with my digital coupon. It went down to $1.99 a pound. I got 50 cents off a pound. So this package of meat cost me, I just want to make sure I am right, $8.24. And here, the London broil, top round London broil, what we do is we cut this in half and I put it, cut it into little pieces. We make stews out of it. We put it in the crock pot. We grill it and then slice it cold for salads. This too was $2.49 and with a digital coupon, I got 50 cents out off a pound. It came to $1.99 a pound. It cost me $9.51. Oh my goodness. The low salt wheat thins were three for $5. That is wonderful if people stop by for cheese and crackers. These were, I had a rain check for them. They were a dollar a box for the Turkey Hill fruit and cream bars. I bought strawberry, and I bought orange. For a dollar a box, you can't beat it. So the total for everything here was $33.44. So that's pretty amazing for all that meat. Corn, puddings, everything. This is stock up items. I can't stress that enough. When these sales are this low, we buy, we portion, and we freeze. Very important to us because this is how we keep our food costs low. Yes, this haul was big, probably the biggest we've done in a very, very long time, but that's okay because now when the prices start to rise or the meat goes back up, which we know it's going to because this is the lowest I've seen it in a very long time. Both my hauls came to 128.56. I believe that's it. Of course, I don't have my glasses. And if I can encourage you with anything, it's please, please, you see these sales and you have a little extra stock up, put them away. But make sure you rotate your stock, make sure you date everything so you know nothing spoils. If you're overbuying for things that you're not going to eat just because they're on sale, that is a total waste of money. We don't want to do that. What we do is we portion the meat into small sizes. And though it may not look frugal because you're seeing the big picture, but in reality, it is because these prices were low. We bought extras and we put them away. So I hope this video was encouraging. Stay tuned next week because we are gonna show you how we put away our food, how we preserve it, and what we do to make it last.
So thank you so much for spending this time with this giant two shopping trip haul. But we love you so much. Thank you for being here. Stay well. Please give this a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And by all means, remember we love you. We wish you blessings. Bye-bye.